So in this project, we are going to use uh, Scratch for PC Duna to design a pawn game. And uh, we use uh, two infrared sensors to sense the distance of the hand. Okay, so we got uh, two players. Uh, each player used to each use his hand to uh, approach these infrared sensors. And the PC Duna is going to sense the distance of the hand to these uh, uh, sensors. And then on the computer, the scratch for PC Duna is going to have two boards. So we're going to have red board and black board. And each are controlled by the distance uh, of the hand to the infrared sensors. So the hardware is pretty straightforward. So con connect one sensor to A0 and the other one to A5 port of, a, of the scratch uh, of a PC Duna. Now let's look at the code sc script side. Move on to computer. Okay. And in this portion, we have we need to have five five sprites. One is a ball. So the ball going to bouncing around. The other one is uh, uh, the second one is a red board, okay. So, and the third one is a black board. So the two player are going to control each board with his hand, and uh, correspondingly we have two goals. So one is a red one and one is a black one. So let's let's look at the simple one first. So the goals, the goals are just a uh, street, a uh, street lines. So when you get a clicked, it's moved to uh, move to the right rightmost side, and for the black goal, it moved to the uh, left leftmost side. Okay, that's the goal. And then now let's look at the board. Okay, the red board. When when the game begins, it will move to the right side. Oh, okay, this one. Actually, this one is the right side. Okay, it will move to right side, and then it keep looping back. So here we introduce something called uh, variables. Now let's like, let's look at this variables. We total create. So if you click make a variable, we create actually four variables. If you click this thing, so if you click this button, actually that make uh, the variables show on the stage. Okay. Look at here, show on the stage. If you unclick it, for example, here, sensor 1, sensor 2, we, we have those two variables. Those two variables actually are used to record the position of the board. Uh, but the variables are not going to show on the stage, so we just unclick it. So score are used ob very obviously, as its name explained, is used to hold the scores. So here, for the red board, the position is sensor 2. So we set sensor 2 to uh, use uh, the voltage of a pin A0 to read actually the distance <coughs> measured by the infrared sensor. And then set Y to five, uh, 500 minus sensors 2 divided by 3. So basically, we're going to move the red board up and down uh, using the readback values from the analog sensor. So let's look at the black board. It's quite similar to the red board except when it begins, when you click the green flag, it moves to the left side. So if, if you look at here, so it's minus 210. And if you look at the red board, it's to a positive 210. Now let's look at the most complicated one, which is the ball. So the ball, when it clicks, it have set the score one to be zero, score two to be zero. So this ball going to point to direction, which is quite random. So point in direction, pick a random number from minus 135 to positive 135. And then we get a big giant forever loop here. So it means this portion of uh, the commands are repeated forever. So the ball going to move uh, 15 steps in the directions that are picked initially. And then if the board touches the red board or touch the black board, then it's going to point to direction 
multiply by minus one. That means it reverses the direction, so it will bouncing back. Okay, and then if touching goal, so if somehow the ball didn't, you know, catch the ball, so if it touches the goal, then if you touch the red goal, you're going to uh, add the score to the black one. Okay, and if touching the black goal, then it's going to uh, add the score of the red one by one. Okay, and if none of these cases, so if we hit the edge, then going to bouncing back. That's more likely because uh, uh, we get the goal. We get a goal. Oh, oh, it's possible because uh, we actually, if you touching, we can also change the code. Say touching the board, we also can um, bouncing back. Okay. Now let's uh, put in the full screen mode, and uh, we hit the green flag. You can see the ball going to be bouncing around, and we use a two hand to control the ball. You can see here, catch it. Yeah, catch. So you can see the score. Okay. So this this game need to be played by two persons. Okay, that's it. Thank you.